It's a real pleasure to be here today at the World Creators Summit uh, with uh, Wally Badaru, uh, of course a very well-known uh, figure in the music world, but he also uh, works uh, with uh, Sassim. So hi Wally and great to have you on, thanks for making the time. I'm doing very well here and I'm very pleased to be here as well and, and, and carry on the work that I'm doing at Sassim by yeah. you know, conveying this message. So first of all, let's talk about your career uh, in music. So. Uh, you've had a f an incredible uh, career over a number of decades uh, and uh, so uh, after all that what spurred you to uh, join Sassem and be part of that story? Well, when you're young you do not realize what um, d'auteur is all about, what copyright is all about. You read these things in the contract that you just sign and you don't realize yeah. that what you're actually creating is even more than real estate. It's um, it is going to be the soundtrack of many people if it is going to be successful. Yeah. And therefore, it, it is prone to be something that you will, you, you will live throughout your whole life. And that's why I believe that at some point, um, making sure that um, the, the life of your works is going according to what you, you think it should be doing, if, if anybody is making money out of it, it's important that you take care of it. It's your own business. <laughs> yeah, and do you think that uh, young uh, artists understand that enough? I believe that that's exactly what is lacking. Yeah. They take for granted that what they are, the excitement of today with all the technology and the innovation, the innovating little devices is going to just be forever. They just don't see that what they are tr actually doing may have some incredible co consequences throughout their, their life. Yeah. Um, and it's somehow quite natural when you're an artist, you don't want to be thinking about tomorrow. Yeah. You know, it's part of the r r romance <laughs> of being an artist. But then, you know, um, uh, at the same time we just heard that we are bound to be entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is making sure that your business is, is, is properly taken care of. Yeah. So, all in all, you have to think ahead. Yeah. And I believe that they are going to um, um, make, it, make progress on it, I'm sure. I'm, I'm very optimistic about it. Yeah, yeah sure. And so looking at your, your, your own career, have you made any mistakes of this kind uh, when you were working and when you were young? Plenty. <laughs> Not just one, plenty of them, and it's bound to be, you know, the, what, what it is, you know, you don't realize by the time. I didn't even know what publishing meant, you know, and publish, I, I was handed over a publishing contract. I, know, I was just pleased that somebody was handing me a contract, which, you know, showing some interest, yeah, exactly. you know, and uh, you just sign it, and then you realize only 25 years later that uh, this thing that you probably may, should have, you know, thought about. But <laughs> yes, I've done it many times, but thankfully enough, I'm not, you know, on the regretting part of things. Thankfully enough, I've uh, been able to secure some good uh, deals as well, so. Yeah. I, 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 I can make a living and still be creative and not being, you know, uh, looking for this little job here and there to just to survive. Yeah, sure. And uh, the SASIM is an interesting organization, and especially with uh, the new CEO, uh, Jean Noël Tron, uh, you know, he's a, a fresh face coming from the technology sector. So, what do you make of him becoming the face of SASIM? Well, it's all for the better because he knows now um, the, the whole deal by the by both ends, you know, the innovative or so-called innovative world of uh, new technology and the so-called non-innovative world of creating. Uh, he, and uh, that's for the better. I mean, his experience is invaluable and um, uh, his uh, views on the future, his dynamism as well is just all we needed right now. Yeah. And the one Chris Blackwell uh, set up Island Records, you know, the, uh, everything was physical, you know, the, you know, you were selling records and, and that also sort of created some problems in terms of distribution because of course, you know, uh, you couldn't be everywhere, you were only where your record was and, uh, and that created some problems. And so, uh, how do you feel about the, the new way where everything is accessible everywhere? And, uh, you know, do you like this new way of consuming music? I don't know if I have to like it or not. 
<laughs> Basically, I have to live with yeah, it. Yeah. But for as long as if there is money being generated, again, you know, this is my thing here. Yeah. Um, um, I do not believe that we can enforce our rights the way we used to in terms of uh, giving permission for our work to be used or mashed up or remixed or whatever. This is, I'm not saying gone forever. I mean, it's part of today's culture and there's no, nothing wrong about it for as long as whatever is being generated even i'm talking including the youtube and all those big tubes who actually are making millions out of the uh, easiness with which the n new generation are actually using and creating music for as long as what is generated goes to the right people i have no problem with it yeah, sure. So talking about SASM and the way that the, the company is uh, is expanding sort of what it does and, and, and helping artists to figure out uh, some of the, the most important steps that they're taking, I know that uh, the company, for example, has issued a series of uh, uh, you know, question and answer type uh, scenarios where they explain what SASM is, what it does. And uh, uh, aside from that, is there any other way that you can improve awareness uh, for young people and uh, make sure that they understand what the benefits of being a member of SASM are, for example? Well, to start with, by just showing up myself physically, yeah, and uh, 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 not just advocating, but with uh, being a witness. Yeah. You know, people, I can speak. My life speak for itself. You know, absolutely. And so, whenever I'm somewhere where youngsters or members of parliament also mm -hmm. can see me and and hear about what the reality of what we're living that awareness is being raised. So I think that's one of the many ways to make it happen. Um, John Noel is being incredibly innovative, <laughs> I should say, in uh, bringing up uh, so many ideas of how to, we, we, we could change that, the, that kind of dreadful image that our collective societies are, you know, um, going through at the moment. And um, it's only um, time that we actually revamp that and re really turn the thing completely. The, I, again, I'm saying, and I, I can't be stronger on that, on that point, the collective management is the solution of the future just on one fact, which is that today's creators, as much as today's consumers, are faced with tons and myriads of ways of doing things, of communicating things, of absorbing, of distributing, of sharing, and all that. And the only way we can have, uh, make sure that we, we can have a voice into how things are being held is through collective societies. Together. Absolutely. That's how we can be talking to the Googles and the Apples and the Amazons of this world, is by being together. Yeah. Yeah. And, and how tough do you think an organization like SASM has to be to uh, be able to face up to what are giants, really, compared to the music industry that is, is relatively small compared to some of the bigger technology industries that are out there? By, by helping this idea that we're having now, which is called CSAC, for instance, yeah. making sure that all the sisters collecting societies get together with SSM. And the more we are, the more we can have a weight in the discussion, in the debate, in the negotiation, in the directives that are being planned, in the laws that are actually being uh, written. Yeah. That's and that's why I'm so glad to be here, and I'm so glad to have people understanding that the future is in our hand. We have to give a reality to this thing, that, which is called CSAC. For, this, for, for the moment, it seems to me, personally, that it's still a, kind of a vague notion. Most people just don't know about CSAC. It has, that has to be changed, so that we can change the storyline. We're not the problem, we are the solution. Yeah, absolutely. And, and uh, some, somebody was remarking this morning about how, uh, you know, CISAC, of course, is a reality, but there isn't a real 
a way for uh, societies to sit down at the table all together and collaborate uh, on, a, on a regular basis, for example. So that's something that perhaps could be interesting and, and, uh, and a step forward towards uh, regulating what is, what is, a, what is a, a very complicated environment. Of course, that's complicated as well because you know, if you if you bundle together all the collection societies, then people could say, "Oh, look, it's a it's a cartel or it's some sort of." A, so that that's also a problem. But uh, do you think that there can be occasions for more conversations uh, between societies as well? Of course, and whenever that's possible, we we have to work on that. We have to make sure that we can make that happen. Um, it's difficult because we don't have the same culture. We don't uh, some. <laughs> realities that uh, may be, uh, you know, a current stream in this or that part of the world might not be in the other part of the world. Just listening to what we have to say to each other is the beginning of the solution. And also, um, my dream, I have a dream somehow, yes. which is that someday the, the gap that we're having between the copyright world and the droit d'auteur, the author's right world, will be narrowed enough yeah. so that there's not a, this, is, this does not constitute a battle anymore. We need to get together. We need to be able to bridge to those gaps. It's, it's absolutely key. That's great. Well, thank you so much for your time and have a great rest of the event. Thank you so much.